Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Wednesday and Bitcoin seems to want to break out. Uh, we are still inside the small triangle that I have plotted one or two days ago. But, however, there are some signs that Bitcoin is already above $38,000 uh, and uh, it seems that wants to have a little breakout. So let's see what's going to happen. But first of all, let's go to screen share and we will have uh, probably a quickie today so uh, here it is the price to time model let me just zoom in for you guys again again we are above the cycle of 2017 so this is the weekly candle this line here is the vertical line is the weekly candle and as you guys can see we are just a hair above the 2017 cycle so it means we are still on track everything looks fine uh the only thing i don't like you guys know already is the 20 week sma turning back down and the 200 week sma decelerating so uh not going so vertical as it was before but there are some other good news for the price to time model and the weekly rsi on it so here we have we have been already turning back up on the rsi and we are going up again towards the uh, dashed orange line which represents the um the lowest um level of the rsi after the 75 percent correction on uh during the 2013 cycle so the middle top the local top we had uh, halfway to the top of 2013 14. Uh, this is the lowest level after that 75 percent correction and we are already towards that level so that's good news for the rsi on the price of time model so that's it for the price of time model today uh, i don't plan to take a very long time for each of the charts so let's um, go directly to the mri chart on the weekly you guys know already this is the week of the mri warning so here it is the orange uh, the orange arrow pointing up meaning that we are on a red eight of nine which means that if we don't go above this red candle opening uh, level and uh, for the next week the same if we don't have a candle higher than the opening level of this red candle here we will have a nine and an mri bottom which uh, i would prefer um, to have it on this candle or this candle but however if it comes on the next candle not so bad also so it's an mri bottom anyway and it represents a reversal of the price action to the upside so nothing really special since the last few days for the uh, weekly chart the volume has um, still declining a bit for the last weeks last few weeks the rsi continues in the middle of the territory just going sideways nothing biggie there and the macd is also uh, declining the gap between the bars which means losing momentum for the bears uh, increasing momentum for the bulls however the macd is still bearish as you guys know we have red bars we have the blue line below the orange however the big news about the macd is that the gap between the bars has been decreasing a lot uh, from bar to bar and that's a very good sign so that's it for the weekly chart let's take a look at the daily so at the daily i have here this new triangle you guys haven't seen it before i just plotted it today and i am expecting that we touch the bot the sorry the top side of this triangle here so this is um, <clears throat> a symmetrical triangle we are i am expecting at least that bitcoin touches the top of this triangle here and if not breaking it to the upside at least the next time we go back down for a small retracement again this will be a higher low as compared to these uh, candles here and the first candle of the triangle here so uh, i see some strength in bitcoin right now trying to break this uh, again the 38 40k level this big resistance that we have been having here 
and also the trend line that I plotted months ago also going up in this direction here so it's probably uh, it's probable that we will not be able to break this triangle right now but let's see what happens even if we have to come back down here for another bar on the daily probably the next one would be a nice one to have the breakout although it will be a green four so i don't like the four candles on the one to nine count because it may represent just a dead cat bounce but however it may be it is a good thing that if we break this triangle to the upside so let's see what happens on the daily uh it's it's good enough that we have left this uh, ranging channel that was coming back down to these levels of the 30k we have broken that uh, ranging channel we are now going sideways so it's not so bad if we continue inside this triangle to uh, range a, a bit more just one more day probably or two maximum and then we could see some kind of volatile move I hope to the upside as I said before in my previous video we have I gave it 80% chances that we go to the upside from this level and 20% chances that we still could see a new low around the 28k or something like that around 27 to 30 so a new low but not not uh, much lower than the previous 30k low okay so the RSI is now going up again just left this sideways action of yesterday <clears throat> sorry and we also left behind those oversold uh, periods of the rsi so we are now pointing up again which is a good sign on the daily the macd is also bullish the blue line is again above the orange line we have three green bars and the gap is increasing so in this case we have a small gap between the first and second green bars and now we have a bigger gap to the third bar so which means that the bullish momentum is increasing a bit and as you guys can see of course we can see that bullish momentum increasing here with uh, these uh, four candles that have been continuously going to the upside except the red one but also in the overall uh, the overall the four bars have been going to the upside so that's a very good for the bullish momentum that we are having right now okay so let's check the four hour chart in the four hour chart you guys can see that we are just in between the 200 period uh, sorry the 100 period sma and the 50 period sma this is the candle that we have right now exactly going from one sma to the other so we, we are being squeezed here this is a kind of a price squeeze and i hope that this bar this candle sorry can break the 100 period sma the top of the triangle and then the trend line that now became a bit of a resistance too so let's see what happens at least we know that we are starting a new bullish momentum so we just started a new candle right now uh, less than a minute ago and probably we have a buy signal here on this uh, third candle of four uh, which is the the last one right now it's the fourth on the green count of one to nine so let's see what the new candle will do if we will come back down to retest the 50 period sma or if we are able to break the 100 sma to the upside and the top of the triangle too if not you guys know already what what happens we will probably come back down here retest the bottom of the triangle and have a new try later on uh, on the next few candles the volume as you guys can see even the for even in this uh, for our chart you guys can see that the volume is uh, going down here not uh, not very very much but it is going down the rsi is pointing up like a zigzag formation here for the rsi so this means green red green red candles and, and so forth so uh the rsi is of course uh, representing that but still going overall to the upside now at this candle presently just going sideways for a bit the macd continues to show bullish momentum too on the four hour we have the blue line above the orange line and we have been continuing this overall green bar um, accumulation here so that's also a good sign in the four hour and the bitmax funding rate is really really low it's close to zero in fact very very close to 0 0.0002 uh, 
and the premium is negative to the downside here so that's also a very good case for the bulls because no leverage means that the spot market can actually function 100 percent uh, and that's good for the market <clears throat> let me just confirm on the one hour how the bitmax funding rate is the one hour shows a very very good structure here a bullish structure for me uh, we are trying to break this resistance here uh, we have a buy signal two hours ago which was a good indication by the way so let's see if we can continue a bit more to the upside at least to touch the top of the triangle i will keep an eye on this chart and the four hour chart and if something extraordinary happens we could get back to videos and probably say something else today but unless uh if only if we are able to break the resistances and the tr uh, and the triangle to the upside i even you know bitcoin even makes me not being able to speak anymore <clears throat> so let's see how this develops in the next few hours let me take just a quick look here at the uh pro indicators framework so we have been having a squeeze as i said yesterday this was going to look like a squeeze and today i have the squeeze alert on the pro indicators framework uh, i could see it already because of the the you know the trend channel just um uh getting really close the green line getting really close to the red line so this gap was decreased a lot so this of course would mean a bit of a price squeeze and here it is we have the alert already so beware we could see some difficulties to overcome the resistances and the support is getting closer to the price action so um this means that the volatile move could be close although i don't think it will be still today but could be very close we could be uh, seeing some kind of a move really soon uh, so for the pro indicators framework there is nothing else i would like to say today let's take a look at the dollar and this stubborn uh asset has been getting to my nerves you guys know already that i've been waiting really patiently that we break this uh, orange box orange rectangle here support and the dollar is really stubborn every time it goes inside the box it comes back out again and i i don't even like that we are close to an mri bottom this is the week of the warning already so it means uh coming monday we will be again on an mri bottom which could indicate a reversal of the price action on the dollar to the upside which of course i don't like i would much more prefer the dollar to break the support once and for all and go below 89 and help bitcoin going to new all-time highs but i guess we will have to wait a few more days to see how this develops and if we are able actually able to uh, have an mri bottom here so let's see if the price action reverses to the upside okay let's take a look at the uh, at gold so gold has uh, been on an mri top since last week so the the previous week was an mri top we are now uh, really undecided about what to do. The price action is going up and going down, going up and down and just becoming green and red. So I guess the MRI bot, uh, top was a good indication that we would st uh, stop this bullish momentum on gold. And now, uh, because probably because of the dollar coming down the last few weeks, uh, the uh, gold feels stronger to go to the ups to the upside however we have been on a one to nine candle already to the upside so the momentum is also exhausted so that's why we have this undecided price action here but probably we will see as i said yesterday we will see a kind of a retracement even small uh, but we will see some kind of retracement probably to the 50 period sma the yellow line here let's see how this develops just a little zoom here for you guys to see it we have been like this since yesterday so it's a bit crazy uh, gold is not moving anywhere not up not down just being you know just one hair up becomes green one hair down becomes red and that's it for the last day or 24 hours something like that so i would still take some profits if i'm able to if this for example goes a bit up 
to the 1914 level, uh, 1910 or 15 dollars, I could take some profit here just to make sure that if we have this retracement, which will be very probable, I could get some profits from there. And that's it for gold. Let's take a look. I will skip the SP today because we have been also not having uh, any really good price action we had a try to make a new all-time high here on the um, smp but it failed so we are exactly having the same kind of price action as gold and nothing is moving there so i don't care about it i enjoy volatility i don't enjoy assets that don't move so let's take a last look here how this is the MACD on the daily the historic low of minus negative uh, not minus negative 5100 now we are going back up so let me zoom in so you guys can see so this is the outlook for the MACD on the daily chart this is a good sign too that we are going back up again the bullish momentum is increasing we are having a bigger distance from the orange line of course because it moves slower uh, and this is a very very good sign for the bulls um, at least for Bitcoin so <clears throat> This is a triangle that you saw before, but on a very smaller scale. But we can see that we have been ranging inside this triangle and we are now getting close to the edge of the to the to the this edge here of the triangle. So I think it, we will have some kind of a volatile move soon. But of course, I will uh, inform you guys as soon as possible if I see something happening on the charts. And I guess that for today, this is all. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a quick update. Let me just go back again to the uh, normal MRI chart. So we have been having just a small retracement right now as soon as I reach the end of the video. Let me go to the four hours. Uh, so yeah, so I guess it will be hard to overcome this uh, 100. Sorry if I said, probably I said 200 SMA before, but if I said it, uh, I apologize for that. The red line is the 100 SMA, 100 period. So it will be not easy to overcome that 100 SMA line there, the, the moving average, and at the same time, the top of the triangle. So I guess we the probabilities of a small retracement probably to the yellow line again the 50 period sma could be in order so let's see what happens but this is as i said everything for today not exactly i predicted as i predicted before this is the end of the video for today just uh, taking a look at the charts all the time because i would like to see if that breakout will occur or not if it will i will of course tweet don't forget to join the telegram group and this is by using a browser you go to t.me slash fu money or if you are inside the app telegram app already you can use a search box for fu money enter and i'm sure you will get the first result it will be the telegram group for this channel for the fu money channel which you should anyway follow and subscribe also on youtube and if you enjoy the content don't forget gently touch the like button and share it with your friends so i will leave you guys again and as usual with sarge uh, uh, esther house advice which is very good for the markets all right let's roll Hey, let's be careful out there. And that's it, guys. Let's roll and be careful out there. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.